what's up you guys this is Haley here and welcome to this week's first impression Friday um, this week we are going to be somewhat first impressioning the hello little monsters backseat car organizer for kids and just for stuff in general um, I got this off of Amazon and just a disclaimer I was sent this item to do an unbiased review from them so I kind of just have to tell you that due to their guidelines and due to YouTube's as well. This retails for $19.99 and is available on Amazon. I will have a link down below for that. Um, I have not even opened this. It is in this box here. The box is a good size. The box is a little smaller than what I thought it would be. Oh! Okay. So this is the box. Look at that cute design. That is adorable. On the back, it kind of just shows you a little bit of what it is. So let's open up this bad boy. So when I did order this product or when I got sent this product, I could not choose what color I did want. Um, they just sent me whatever color. So it looks like I got blue. I do not know if it comes in other colors, if it comes in like pink or red or something, if your child didn't want blue. Um, but mine was blue. Um, this is its overall. It won't. E there you go. Um, it seems a little small from the picture as a first impression. Um, the picture does make it look a lot bigger than the physical item here. So I'm actually just going to hook it up on the wire railing so we can get a better look at it. So there it is as you guys can see it. Um, it just hooks in through regular buckles. It has two on the top to go around the headrest and it has two on the bottom to go I'm guessing around the seat which to me seems like a bad design because the person in front of you would have to deal with that depending on how your seats are exactly sized if that would bother you or not so we're going to take a bunch of stuff from the stockpile and we're going to be shoving it in here to see exactly how much it can hold and see exactly how easy this thing is to organize. Some soap. Of course, some toothpaste. So we can put that here. We can actually put multiple things of toothpaste. Let's find something really heavy and see how that. All right, I'm just gonna take a bunch of random junk I have um, and put it in there. So mostly this stuff is kids stuff. So like these stickers, um, we can put that in the side. Tablecloth, cause why not? And then it says detachable wallet. And that is this part right here, and it's just Velcroed. I don't really consider this a wallet. Um, it seems more like a fanny pack kind of thing. And um, it's essentially just a pouch. It, there's no dividers inside this. Um, I don't really consider this a wallet. Um, this would be nice that you could put like wipes in and then when you're ready to um, like just go, you can rip it off. So if your kid needs access to wipes or to like Kleenexes and stuff, you can always have them in here. Um, but I wouldn't really consider that a wallet. It does just stick back on the front. Some handy wipes will stick in the other pocket. Uh, the handy wipes are really hard to get in. They actually will not slide in as you can see. Um, this does say it is adjustable for stretchable bottle holders, plastic material fits most bottles in small sippy cups. Now I would say this would probably be a big bottle, but most people, as long if your kids don't have bottles, they're gonna use this probably for something more like this, especially if this is made for kids, and this is not doesn't fit in there. Um, so that's one thing that I don't like about this is they're really small and they're made just for bottles and sippy cups. To where most people, if they're going to use this for longer than like a year or so, are going to be using it for like wipes and stuff. And it doesn't fit in there in a way. So that's a little eh on my part. Um, I don't really like that those don't fit in there. If you do have kids, um, it would be an easy way to get them to clean up on their own. So overall, I'm okay. I'm probably about a three and a half out of five on this item. For it being $20, it doesn't seem versatile enough for me to spend that much on really something that I can just kind of organize with the back seat alone. Um, one thing that, of course, that we talked about earlier is these little sections do not fit anything that is 
really any bigger than this, which this is not that big. Um, it's just like a little tube. It's probably a little bigger than toilet paper tube. It cannot fit like wet wipes like this. So are you going to keep two bottles in the back for one kid? Um, it will not fit these. One thing that I've also realized is if you have stuff in these pockets, you cannot use these front pockets. They don't stretch enough past the material to essentially put anything in them that has any mass. I mean like wipes and maybe Kleenexes and stuff would fit in there. But if you have anything big in the pocket, it is not going to fit anything in the front, which I don't really like. Um, I tried it with one of these little guys that isn't that big. It's just like a travel size makeup remover and I could, couldn't even fit it in the pocket. And this pocket isn't even full. I mean, I can fit it easily in the pocket, fine, but I can't fit it on the outside of the pocket. So I do not like about that. Um, overall, I'm kind of iffy about this product just because of the price of it. It just doesn't do enough for me to pay that much for an organizer for my car when I could essentially do that on my own. So I'm not hugely impressed with this product, the little, the Hello Little Monsters, a backseat car organizer. Um, on their picture, it kind of shows a couple different things. On here, it shows water bottles that you can use. But if this is going to be on your back seat, um, and they're going to be for kids, your kid's not going to be able to, other kid, like if you have two kids, it's not really going to be able to reach over and grab their bottle. So if you're going to essentially put two types of drinks in there, it'd have to be for the same child. Um, they kind of showed like stuffed animals and stuff. Um, a lot of... It looks like a lot more can be put in this car seat than what I believe actually can. Um, and it shows it also more, uh, how do you explain it? More equaled out on the bottom, like it's sitting on something in this picture than it actually does. This bottom little thing does not actually fit that much. It doesn't have like a flat bottom like a lot of like bags do with the like bottom you can put in there so it's flat it doesn't have anything like that so when you put something in it kind of drags down so I don't think you could really fit easily stuffed animal and some of that in there um, I have no idea what's in here but if those are probably clothes I could see you fitting a stuffed animal but I could not see you fitting like clothes and then something else in front of it I don't think the pocket is durable enough to do that I can see somebody being able to fit like wipes and stuff in this one because this one has more of a squared out bottom than the bottom does. These just kind of meet. As you can tell, it kind of just meets in the middle. The uh, fabric does to where with this one, you've got a seam here. So it kind of is built to have a square bottom. So you can fit a lot more up there. I mean, I can fit tons and tons of stuff in here that I believe would be good. Um, that I would put some stuff in. Oh gosh. Um, it looks like it's made for like wipes and stuff, which is fine. I just wish the way they did this pocket, they did this bottom pocket, so you would have more leeway on exactly how much you can put in there. If this is going to be an organizer, you're going to want to put a lot of stuff in there for your kids to stay essentially contained with. So um, I'm about a three and a half out of five on this product. I am not a huge fan of this. It doesn't seem durable enough for me. And I don't know exactly if it comes in other colors or not. Um, but yeah, I'm just not a huge fan. I thought it would be bigger. I thought it would be more durable. And I'd be able to put more items in there. Because when I was a kid, I had a backseat organizer like this in front of my seat. And you could just jam stuff in that. So thank you so, so much for watching this First Impression Friday. I hope this video helped you guys to see if you would like a product like this, if you are looking for a backseat organizer for your kids, or just to in general organize your car, um, if this helped you or if this hindered you. But if it did at all, leave me a comment down below so we can start a conversation about this. So thank you so, so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe, join the Savings Army, never pay retail again. And make sure to tune in every Friday for our first Impressions Friday while I essentially take an item that I have never seen before or used, do in first impressions on it, and then share my thought or knowledge with you. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!